such a curry mutton I'm making today. So I'm putting on some curry. There you go. Curry mutton. So I'm seasoning the curry mutton in the pot. You may be thinking it can't be done yet, but yes, it can be done. So the curry mutton I'm seasoning in the pot. There you go. I'm making some all purpose. There you go, all purpose. Got the regina as well. I'm gonna put some of this in there as well. Put some of that in there. Got the curry chicken I'm making. So I've got the onions in there and all of that in there already. And that's the curry powder I'm using. So you can see it's a curry powder. And you can see it's product of Jamaica. Twickenham Park, Spanish Town. Jamaica brand, yeah? Best curry in the world, Jamaica curry. There's it there. So it just starts cooking. You got a big scotch bonnet pepper on top. Still cooking. So, so it's a curry goat today, or curry mountain, what you want to call it. It's going to take about three and a half hours to cook. Very long time it takes to cook. And I'm using some jerk sauce in there as well. Just to give it a bit of spice and hot. Yeah. Early stage. So cooking. So I'm going to put a little bit of mixed spice in there as well. You can see that. Mixed spice I'm gonna go in there as well. It's curry mutton today, yeah? Get a mixed spice in there. So you got that one in there as well. You can see curry mutton. That's from the beginning, yeah? You're gonna take about two and a half hours to cook. Very long this mutton gonna take to cook. Some scotch bonnet pepper there as well to go into the curry. There's one already in there. I see one there. Yeah. One already in there there. You know one thing with curry mutton is the pie so you gotta stay the spiciness in there. See that? See that it's not cooked yet. It just started cooking, you got two and a half hours left to cook. So you gotta have patience when you're cooking curry mutton. Because it takes very long to cook, yeah. I haven't added any water on that yet, just let it go on. Cool for now. It's a long process cooking curry mutton. Three and a half hours. If I did want to use a pressure cooker, then it probably would take about two hours. But I'm not using a pressure cooker. I'm not in any rush. So I'll wait the three and a half hours. Scotch bonnet pepper. Just gonna have a look at it so you can see. Still cooking. Just gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Not too much. Yeah, still cooking. So that's my curry mutton. I'm gonna be taking two and a half hours to cook. So I'm boiling the kettle to throw and the curry mutton. So the kettle is boiled. Kettle is boiled and it says if you use the boiling water it will keep the pot cooking and you can see see that the boiling water and the curry mutton and keep the pot cooking yeah so always use boiling water for the pot to continue cooking yeah so you can see the pot is still cooking because I use boiling water yeah but if you put cold water in there it will slow it down the cooking of the pot so I'm just put Hot water, boiling water. See the onions there? So you got the onions in there as well. So you got the curry powder, you got the onions, 
We got the scotch bonnet. We got the all purple seedling. Be a MSG as well. And as I says, this is the early start of it. It's gonna take three and a half long hours to cook. I'm not using a pressure cooker because I'm in no rush for it to cook. Okay? Curry mutton. She looking really nice already. You're getting that curry color, but it's not ready to eat yet. Three and a half hours. I'm just checking to see if it's still cooking. Uh, let's gonna check to see. Yeah, still cooking. Just gonna give it a little stir. You can see, we got a long way to cook. It's just gone about 15 to 20 minutes already since it started cooking. Another says it's gonna be two and a half hours. But this mutton take long to cook. You see, amount of water in there, or juice. Add a little bit of boiling water to keep it cooking. There you go, that's the curry mutton cooking. It's gonna cook for three and a half hours. Maybe three hours, depending on how soft the meat can get. So, curry mutton cooking. It'll take about three and a half hours to three hours. So this is some of the uh, stuff I grow in there. A green pepper, a tomato, a yellow pepper, red pepper. Scotch bonnet there. I just get these from the market not too long. And all of that gonna go in there. Some of that's gonna go into it. So yeah. Still cooking. See, still cooking away. Curry mutton still cooking away. That's some of the seeds in there. It's gonna go in there when it's time for it to go in. When you cook up to about say, two and a half hours, so I put those in. The pepper there and all of that will go in there. Not all of it, but some of it. So curry mutton cooking, yeah? Still cooking there. Uh, so you can see the mutton still are cooked there. Eh? I'm putting it over there so for a second. See there. Curry mutton, so it's almost an hour now since it's cooking. Yeah, that's almost an hour. It looks to me like you want a bit more curry powder in there, but I don't want it to be too strong with the curry powder. I don't want to overpower it with the curry powder. So you can see all of that meat in there. Curry goat today, yeah? Our curry mutton. See more food and music, yeah? See the curry music there? See it? That's when I'm gonna get a nice color of the curry mutton gravy. I did say curry music, but it's curry mutton gravy. <laughs> there, you see it? All of that water I turn into nice juice. All that juice from the meat. And yeah. I'm gonna put in all the scotch bonnet pepper in there and some of the other peppers there. Yeah. So you got the all purpose season, you got the jerk season in there as well because that's good for all meats, hot and spicy, yeah? Jerk season, you can use like chicken, fish, anything you can use in like a mutton, yeah? Anything but you want spicy now you can put in like it, yeah? I see it there? I eat that. Curry got cooking away there. Three and a half hour. About an hour gone already. So you had another two and a half. Two and a half hours remain. For this curry goat already. And I'm gonna cook that with some dumpling in there. Not more than some caramel dumpling, bulgur wheat and plain flour. That's what I'm gonna be eating that with. If you want rice, you can have some rice, yeah. Or some bulgur wheat. But well, I'm having some uh Caramel dumpling with bulgur wheat and plain flour. And I'm gonna make spoon job as well. No hassle. Spoon job I'm gonna make in with this uh 
part of Curry Mountain here. Not just for me one, but yeah. I want family dumpling. Just gonna put the lid back on and leave it to go and cook. Yeah? Then the two and a half hours. Yeah, waiting on this mutton to ready. Still cooking almost uh, almost one hour and a half now. Still cooking. Almost an hour and a half. Still cooking. You can see the color of the gravy. Look like curry mutton here. Yeah? See that? Mm, look like curry mutton. But you have to have that amount of water in the pan. And well, by the time it cooks, you don't have no gravy. So you have to cook with the amount of water. Bear in mind, you need gravy, yeah. But this is the water going to turn into the mutton gravy. Yeah, and you have to cook with that amount of water from start. Give yourself an idea. Yeah. So you need water in there. Whereas when it's cooked, you don't have the gravy. But I want lots of gravy in mine. Because all of this is not just for today. You can put some on the freezer for the other day. Uh, you know, but you want gravy. For that, I'm going to be having cornmeal dumpling with this. You see that? Look at the gravy. You see it? See that? See it? It's the color of the mutton gravy here. Yeah? Still cooking. And that's some of the vegetable work gonna go in there. You got know, the scotch white pepper. You got the green pepper. Red pepper too. Just gonna go into the mutton. Some of it. And I'm doing that with cornmeal dumpling. It's on a slow cook mood. At the moment so you can see it's not bubbled up really heavily but it's still cooking put the lid back on yeah so it's gone about an hour and a half already since it started cooking that so another hour and a half to go the curry mutton will ready i soon start cooking the caramel dumpling but i'm gonna make spoon job anyway you always see me talking about spoon job dumpling because the more easier and it work out the same you know okay so guys now it's time to make the uh cornmeal dumpling and i make us i'm making a spoon job so that's the bulgur wheat there for the dumpling so i got the bulgur wheat there that's the plain flour there plain flour there and this is the cornmeal all three gonna mix together yeah and i'm just gonna add a little bit of salt not too much salt yeah. So there you go. So everything is in that. One thing left to add now is the water. So the bulgur wheat, the cornmeal, plain flour, and you just see me you just see me put some salt in. So that's the cornmeal there, plain flour, and that's the bulgur wheat there. Yeah. So all three I'm using to make a dumpling to eat with the curry mutton while it's boiling there you can see the curry mutton cooking away it's coming up to almost two hours now since it's been cooking still got a long way to go maybe more than an hour depending on how soft the meat gets and that's some peppers and scotch bonnet there to go into it i'm not going to put all the scotch bonnet in there but that would burn my lips too much and you know overpowered it so uh there you go so the curry mutton and I'm gonna make the spoon up dumpling. So I got the cornmeal, the bulgur wheat in there, and the plain flour. Okay. Just gonna a little bit of water there. And the truth is as well, I'm gonna be cooking in the same pot as well. This, this dumpling here, what I'm making, spoon up. I'm gonna be cooking in the same pot here. Uh, I'll show you how. So I'm making the dumpling in there and I'm gonna also cook it in there. Let me put the kettle on. So I want the kettle to boil. Once the kettle boil, I'm gonna go straight into the pot, turn it on, and then carry on cooking. But I'm gonna take the, the dumpling out, the flour, before I put the water in to let it start cooked. Yeah. There you go. So the kettle is boiling and that's the water to cook the dumpling in a dish of pot, yeah. same pot me I use, yeah? 
same pot I'm using to cook the cornmeal dumpling. So I'm boiling the kettle so I can get the water to uh, pour into it. You see. I think you need a bit more water just to soften it up a bit. So you can see it softened up a bit. You can see that, yeah? Spoon drop dumping and making. You can see it getting softened up. You just have to keep mixing it up. So it's bulgur wheat, plain flour, and cornmeal. Yeah? A bit of salt and water. So there you go, the kettle is boiling. The kettle is boiling, so what I'm gonna do now is turn this one on. I'm gonna turn this one on quickly so it can um, get ready to put it on. That's the flour there, already uh, made. I've taken it out, and this is fire coming up there. So that's the part what I need the dumpling in. As I said, I'm gonna cook it in the same pot that I need the flour in. There you go, the kettle boiling now. So I'm gonna put a kettle water into this pot now and that's what a spoon drop dumpling gonna go into. See how easy that is? Yeah. So all of that water from the kettle is gonna go to the spoon drop dumpling. Let's turn it up a bit more. Because I want it to start cook. So there you go. You can see the fire coming under it. Yeah? And that's what a dumpling I'm gonna cook in. And that's the dumpling here. I put it on a plate just so I can spoon drop it and put it into the pot. Yeah. So there you see it. The same pot I mix the flour in with the dumpling. It doesn't matter if you see a pieces of you know in the water there, you know that was a dumpling that's just mixing there. So those little spot would be alright. And that's the dumpling there. So, I'm going to, so that's gonna go back into the, the same pot, yeah. So look, oh, that's a spoon drop, the spoon drop dumpling. See that? So that's one. That's one dumpling that. You see that? Into the water. Look. See that? One dumpling that. Yeah. See it? You see what I'm doing? If you want them big, you can make them big. Yeah. So there you go. Two dumpling. See it? You have two dumplings in the pot already, yeah? So, so you don't have to use your hand to make dumpling. You can use a spoon and call it spoon drop like me. See there? Three dumplings. See that? The mutton I cook at the same time as me say. I call me dumpling and curry mutton. The mutton that I cook is got about the next hour left to cook. Three dumplings gone in already. I see the veg there. I'm gonna put in that in the mutton as well, but not all of it. We got a pepper there as well, scotch bunny pepper. See it? Dumpling a cooker already. So the kettle boil the water, same pot, we mix the dumpling in. A, we got three in there already. I may put in more, as you can see. I have to explain to you so you can see what's going on here. Eh? So if you want to make this at home, just like that, use a spoon. There are four in there now. Yeah, see it? All of them go in the spoon, Jack. All gone in. See it? So you got the bulgur wheat, a plain flour, and the cornmeal, and a little touch of salt. I'm not gonna put any salt in the water while the dumpling cooking because you, you know the gravy gonna have a bit of taste of salt as well. Yeah? So that's a cornmeal dumpling I cook to eat to the curry mutton. Yeah? And I'm still making more spoon jack dumpling. And that's the plain flour there, what I'm using. That's the bulgur wheat there. See the bulgur wheat, that's what I'm using, yeah? The cornmeal there as well. All of that mixed together in this, with a pit. Just like a pinch of salt, yeah? See there? More dumpling than in. You see that? I'm still have more to put in. You can make a big one if you want, yeah? See there? Big dumpling that, all right. You can have that one, yeah? All right, see there? Gone in. See there now, you can make some small one as well, you can make that look a small one there, yeah? But it's still a going at the pot. I see last a small one here yeah, as well, 
spoons up. See it? Spoons up that. So that's a cornmeal dumpling I cook there now. You see how easy it is? Now the same part I will mix the flour in there. I hit it a cooking now. All I did just boil it the kettle and use the kettle. Keep the pot cooking, yeah. I turn it back down, I don't want it too high. Don't want to fire too high. Yeah, so curry mut now cook. Curry mut now cook there. Eh? And calm me lump and I cook at the same time. Yeah. See more food and music, yeah. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. See it? See that? Dumpling are cooked the same way. I put the lid on because, you know, put the lid on and turn down his fire. And turn down. Everything cooking away. You can see uh, that's a mountain there. Curry mutton I'll cook, yeah. And that's a spoon drop dumpling there. So you see it? That's a spoon drop dumpling, yeah. See that? It's still cooking. Look at that. Made by spoon. So when you hear me talk about spoon drop dumpling, don't get like, you know, oh, spoon drop dumpling. Yeah. I know you might not have heard about spoon drop dumpling or make spoon drop dumpling before, but look at that. Yeah. That's dumpling. The only thing they're not round and shaped like a little cake. But you just still have dumpling to eat. Here you go, the spoon drop dumpling. Still cooking. Yeah? And this take about because they had the cornmeal in there. I give it about 30, 35 minutes in the boiling water cooking. But it was straight boiling water. I boil the kettle and put it on. So you you know, you don't have to wait for the water to boil before you can put the dumplings in. You can put the dumpling in straight away. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a curry goat with caramel dumpling. I can't wait to put those peppers in, especially one more than scotch bunny there. Yeah, actually, let's put one in. I'm gonna put one of these scotch bites in there. I'll put this one in there. Yeah. I'll put that one in there. See it there? Make the one go and cook. Bring some spice in there. I don't want the pepper them to to, to stew soft in there, so I'm leaving them for the like when it had about twenty minutes left. I don't want to be a crunch from them in there as well. Actually, I, I put it the first time in from now as well. The first time gone in, mm, that can go in. But like the peppers, no, I'm not putting them in yet. Apart from the one scotch bunny there, to cook in you know it. See. It? Can't mill dumpling I cook with bulgur wheat and plain flour. Cover that back up. You know what? I put try to fire back up. Yeah. Put back on the lid pan that. So and in the next hour time everything should be ready. You can see the cornmeal dumpling is cooking away. That is fire there. You can see that, yeah? They're not ready yet. I need 10 15 minutes time. Ready. That's the mutton there. That's the mutton there. The curry goat. And the peppers there to go in there. Can't wait to put all of that in there. It's just one scotch bonnet. Inside that ready, I boil with that, yeah. Or I cook with that. See more food and music. Thanks for the support. Subscribe or unsubscribe. I know you're still watching. Thanks for that. There you go. Calm your dump and I cook. Can't be dumpling I cook with bulgur wheat. See that I mix it here. Yeah? 
see it dumping a cook I will set these a cook now cut it on there about 25 minutes see that there so these are almost ready to eat with the curry mutton I'm going to cook there a curry goat here so I'm going to put the lid back on the cornmeal dumpling and focus on the mutton now got the dumpling ready already yeah you see that gravy look at that gravy already you see that because i had so much water in there because i have want some gravy you see it i don't want it to cook and then the gravy not in there so you need gravy yeah see you see the color of that look at the color see that see it actually let me get another spoon and taste it i'm gonna use another spoon and taste it use a smaller spoon and taste the gravy mm. Mm. tastes really good you know mm. that's gonna go well with the caramel dumpling there let's leave them on the heat let it go on steam yeah and then our time man when mutton are ready okay. now, our time and it's ready see more food and music thanks for the support thanks to everyone who's supporting even the ones who wasn't supporting then but are supporting now thank you for still doing that yeah okay so guys i am um, going to know what is this here well, what this is here you see that what that is is that some of the plain flour so some of the plain flour i add into the cup add some water add some top water add some top water in it make it into a thick piece and what I'm going to do with that now is to throw into the curry mutton. And what that's going to do is going to thicken it up a bit. You know, it's like your gravy can thick. You see that? The more you put, the thicker the gravy will get. Yeah? But you have to mix it out quickly. See? Thick already. You see that? See? Thick. Yeah, so that gives the gravy a bit of thickness. But you don't want it too thick. Yeah? That's what it does. So some plain flour into a cup with some water. Look at that now. You see that? So within a half an hour, when the flour cook out and the meat get a bit softer, it will ready. So it's cooking for over two hours now. Yeah. Over two, nearly three hours it's cooking for. So you had another half an hour left to cook. As you can see, the caramel dumpling there already ready. So I'm having this with caramel dumpling. Curry mutton, yeah. So because of the meat almost cooked now, yeah, I'm going to add the peppers to it. Yeah, so I'm going to just add the peppers to it and leave the peppers to steam because I don't want the peppers to uh, become too soft. Yeah. I just want them to nice and crunchy in that curry, yeah? And I, I've already put the scotch bonnet in there. I've already put the fresh thyme in there. So I'm just going to leave this to steam down a bit. So this is the curry goat, yeah? Let's add some peppers to it, you know. Yeah. The scotch bonnet's already in there. So I'm going to leave this for about, say, half an hour more. And then that should be ready to eat with the cornmeal dumpling. <laughs> see it? And once the meat starts falling off the bone as well, look, you see the meat fall off the bone. That's another sign that the meat is cooked. You see that? The meat fall off the bone by itself. See it? Yeah. But I'm not going to take it out. Just leave it for another half an hour. But once the meat falling off the bone like that, you know, so your meat is cooked. If the meat not cook, 
it won't fall off the bone so easily so i'm just gonna leave that to cook for another 20-25 minutes just to get some crunch on the pepper so that is my curry goat and cornmeal dumpling with bulgur wheat you see how i make it from the start some plain flour some cornmeal some bulgur wheat touch of salt and water to mix and i use spoon as well so that's my spoon dumpling and my curry goat or curry mutton with scotch bonnet pepper and other colored peppers as well see more food and music as i said thanks for the support really appreciate Just gonna check on this to see what's going on. Mmm, look at that. So I see more food and music. Curry goat or curry mutton. And as you can see, I'm having that with the cornmeal dumpling. Yeah, I'm going over it more than once, more than twice. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, look at that. Mm? Look at that, man. You really like that, yeah. A restaurant coming near you soon. See more food and music. Coming near you soon. Yeah. Thanks for the support. So yeah, it's ready now. As you can see, it's ready now. So what I'm going to be doing is just to put some on this plate here. Remember, these are the spoon drop dumpling. These dumplings are very healthy as well because you got the cornmeal in them and you got the bulgur wheat as well. So you know, a bit of healthiness on there. So directly you can see what's going on in the pot, yeah? See that? Some of that I go up on that. See there? See a spoon in there. Top up some here. Yeah? Yeah. I put enough on the plate now. See there? All of that I got on the plate, you see that? Put some more gravy. See there? Some more gravy on the dumpling there, so. Right there. Look at that, man. Hmm? Look at that. I'm just gonna put a little bit more gravy, a little bit more gravy on the dumpling. Gravy there. See there? I'll eat that. So that is my uh, my curry goat with caramel dumpling. You see the whole process of it, step by step. Look at it now, and that's the finished product. Hmm. It's curry goat. A cornmeal dumpling. I'm gonna check that out now. See, a spoon job cornmeal dumpling. Yeah. 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 So dinner is ready. See, scotch bonnet there. So you know, so I'm gonna have some steel for this scotch bonnet towards it. See that? Mm -hmm. Everything. Big. Check the gravy out. Look at the gravy. Mmm, -hmm. mm, man. So I'm gonna check that out now and get a spoon for me, so. I can turn off now, so it's finished. There you go, turn the electric off. And I'm gonna check this out now, so let's check the spoon drop dumpling. Mm, spoon drop dumpling. Mmm, that is so beautiful, man. Mmm, the taste from that. Let's get some of this mutton now then. See that? Get some of that mutton in. Mmm. Look, look at the gravy, man. Mmm, look at that gravy. Mmm, try some of this mutton now. Mmm. Man, that is really nice. Mmm, mm. I wish you could taste this man. Mmm, look at that man. Try the peppers as well.
if I got a crunch to it, put a dumpling over here, caramel dumpling, see it? Caramel dumpling with bulgur wheat, plain flour, and a little bit of salt. Oh, this is really delicious, you know. Guys, man, as I said, see more food and music coming near you soon. Look at that. Mmm. That's a piece of mutton there. Look at that pure meat that is. Mmm. Yes, so this is uh, my curry mutton, caramel dumpling. There you go. Caramel dumpling with bulgur wheat, plain flour, a little bit of salt, water. Use a spoon, mix it around, you see the result. Let's try the peppers out. Mmm. Really country. Mm. See more for the music. Thanks everyone for the support. I love you guys so much. One day I'm gonna cook a big part of this and invite everyone to come around. Everyone will be coming around to see more food and music kitchen. See more food and music kitchen. Everyone will be coming around soon. I can't wait to send the invitations out. Thank you guys for watching.